The alleged vote buying carried out by political parties in the July 14, 2018 gubernatorial election in Ekiti State is a preview to what will be seen in the 2019 general election, said the Cross River chapter chairman of the Young Progressive Party, Mr. Castro Ezama, in an interview Sunday in Calabar. Mr. Ezama told it FM in the interview monitored by Cross River Watch that the practice of money politics was the ban of leadership in Nigeria, hence the need to do away with it. The Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended provides for freedom of association. Okay. And so, therefore, you don't deny political associations who have merited mm. the political parties. The problem we have is the aspect of financing, which you just mentioned. Mm. The, the, the money politics is speaking volume. Recently, we all witnessed in Ekiti where there was vote buying. And I think that is just an experiment of the forthcoming general election. If stakeholders don't sit up. Mm. You know, the idea of multi-party system, for me, it's a welcome idea. Gone are the days where people will, will crowd PDP secretariat. And, you know, people will not even have opportunity to hear what's happening. And all they will do from the village. If you go to the village to campaign as a, an aspirant, they tell you, for we, we don't have problem. Go up there and see that you are accepted. That's what electorates in uh, remote areas will always tell you. Mm. And so no matter how good you are, they encourage you to go up and seek power from top. And so these political parties now registered have very lot of opportunities. You, you will agree with me that when parties bring out um, sales of forms, compare the sales of forms of the 2019 election and the previous election, there, there is serious decrease in sales of forms because there are so many political parties. I advise somebody, I said, Nigeria is progressing. If you have what it takes to lead, there are over 90 political parties. Go to one. Instead of spending money to seek just a party ticket, mobilize people, take a political party, spend less, go to the field, let people see your manifesto as an aspirant and candidate, as the case may be, and do your campaigns and win elections. We, we, we have spoiled this country. You go to do campaigns, you know what they ask you? At the end of what you say, what did you bring? What and did you bring? Yeah, what did you bring? All they expect is for you to bring out monies from your pocket. And what we are telling cross Civilians and Nigerians is simple. If you're asking us for money and you won't vote people because they don't have money, and you collect money from people and vote for them, you have voted for good roads. That's the money they're giving you. Mm -hmm. Electricity, you have collected in advance. Security, you've collected in advance. So tomorrow, like currently, we, we cry that um, they are fighting here and there. Today we drove to get, guess what? We spent 30 minutes just within Biase. And that's painful. And we can't question these people. In Etomak Bokum Road, it's one of the worst roads in Nigeria. Also, he urged that reducing the amount of money needed spent in electoral processes by aspirants will give room for more credible candidates to emerge and caution the citizenry against accepting any form of gratification to vote as doing so meant mortgaging their future. David Insa for Cross River Watch TV.